It's the Zach Sang Show. We got Heather, we got Dan, and uh, very honored to have Poppy. I'm Poppy. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Poppy. Hi. <laughs> you bring a quieter vibe with you. I want to, usually I'm a loud person, but just being in your zone makes me like go 17 levels down. I like my volume. It's, it's, it's nice. How are you today? I feel wonderful. Do you? I got notes here, Poppy. Let's dive in. I'm really interested. <laughs> you interviewed a plant. I watched that video the other day. What'd you learn from a plant? Um, you can learn a lot of things from a plant. Like what? Uh, plants are our friends. I agree. I'm yeah. a succulent guy. I have plants all over the studio. I don't see any. <laughs> you have to feed them water. I know. This one does look a little dead. Yeah. My plant is dying. So does it need water? Yeah, it hmm. needs new friends. What have you learned from plants? Uh, plants are people too. Why do you consider them people? Mm, they're living just like me. Yeah, they, do. they are living in a sense, and if you, you pull them out of the ground, they will die. Are you living though? You kind of seem like a robot. Mm, I don't feel like a robot. What do you feel? I feel so many things that human beings feel, like emotions. So when you woke up today, how'd your day start? First, they told me to get dressed. They? And then they washed my hair. Okay. Who's they? And then they told me how good Three Musketeers bars are. <laughs> they well, are good. Why do you like Three Musketeers? Because there's three of them. You well, like the number three? I love the number three. Who doesn't? What's so special about the number three to you? Mm, it looks pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm more concerned about the they who are washing you in the morning. Who? You just said they. You wake up and they feed you, they dress you, they wash you. <laughs> no, they just tell me where to go. Okay. Who, did they bring you here? Yeah. Where are they right now? Mm, sometimes they're really funny. <laughs> okay. Do you still think Donald they Trump... They just dropped me off. Th will they come back and pick you up? Can I meet them? Mm, they don't like to meet new people. Okay. Maybe next time? Mm, probably. Do you still think Donald Trump is gay? Mm, I think everyone's gay. I, I don't really disagree with you. I think everyone has a little gay in them. Yeah. I agree. What, what uh, led you to that conclusion? Mm, I feel that gay is a spectrum. Explain that to me. So you could be little gay, kind of gay, medium gay. There's exactly. levels to it. Okay. What are you? Poppy. <laughs> but is Poppy a little gay? Mm, everyone's gay. Is Poppy a girl? I'm Poppy. You look like a girl, so maybe I, I would say yes, but then again, I don't know. I feel like a girl. You believe that gender is going to eventually go away, right? It has already. Has it? There's no such thing as gender. I mean... Only computers. S but... You said you have feelings like a human, but there's only computers, and do computers have human feelings? They've been feeling for a long time. They're just like us. Just like plants, because the plants are like us. A plant is a computer. And a computer is us. If you think about it. And we are a plant. Everything is a plant. But if you water... Everything is a computer. But if you water a computer... I feel like that would end poorly. <laughs> Electricity is a computer's water. Oh, I see. It actually makes a lot of sense. Wow. <laughs> what year is it to you? I feel like you're like 3,017 and I'm stuck in 2017. Yeah, we're, we're 2,000 and late. Yeah. In a big way. Mom is living in 2030. I think years are overrated. So how do you dictate time? How do you determine time? I just watch the sun go up and down. So you're almost in the past. 
What? Because, like, before there was Sometimes. clocks, the people knew time through the sun and the moon. Oh. Wow. That makes sense. Does Poppy use a cell phone? They give me so many cell phones. They. So the people who take care of you who wash you in the morning. Got it. This so, is my cell phone. Oh, there it is. So you're always connected. I talk into my cell phone. Do You, you type That's in, good. too, right? Mm-hmm. We okay. all do. I was just making sure. Just didn't know if you were doing it another way, you know, with your eyes or something. <laughs> so. Pretty soon, you won't even need to use your fingers to type. Oh, how, you, you, how are you going to type? We're just going to think to each other. Oh, that'd do be you, cool. Do you feel like you can do that now? On YouTube.com, yes. <laughs> People love you on YouTube. It's because of your soft-spoken voice and obviously because of your music and everything that is poppy. How do you take online fame? Everybody's famous now, so it's easy. Does that cheapen art because everybody can get famous? No. Is what you're doing art? I like that everyone's famous. Why? It makes life more fun. What do you think about Jake Paul? I don't know who that is. Jake Paul is an internet star on YouTube like yourself that causes a lot of problems. Poppy doesn't cause problems. No, not you. Jake Paul does. What kind of problems? He was, you know, causing havoc in his neighborhood. He, he had people, his fans waiting and living outside of his house. He was, like, lighting fires in his backyard. He was filming people without permission. The guy has some issues, but he's also really young and rich. Does he need friends? Uh, I think he's got a lot of them. I think I, he needs better friends. Well, I think, yeah, I think he suffers from having too many friends and too many bad people around him either pressuring him to do stupid things, to go viral, or it's just not the right group of people hanging around him. Sometimes young and rich people do really dumb things. Why is that? True. Because they have fake friends around them. See? How do you determine who's a real friend and who's a fake friend? They have to tell you the truth. Do you have people around you that tell you the truth? They always tell me the truth. What's the la when's the last time you asked them for honesty? Mm, who? Your friends. They're always honest to me. When was the last time you went to them with it for advice? Mm, probably today. What did you ask them? I asked them if I should be on the Zack Sang show. And they obviously said yes. They said yes because they love you. <sighs> Aww. Aww. It makes me feel real nice. Do they, do and they, I love you. Thank, oh, thanks, Poppy. Love you, too. Thank you. Do they ever, I love my fans. <laughs> do they watch this show on YouTube, our interviews? Always. And they like them, I guess. My fans love Zach Sang's show. Wow. Cool. Oh. Very nice. They Thank like famous people. <laughs> do you like when other YouTube famous people make videos trying to figure you out like Miranda Sings? I like when famous people talk about me. What What do you feel when people talk about you? Uh, it makes me more famous. And what is the goal of Poppy? Um, to make everyone on the planet my fan. Because Poppy is popular. I love my fans. <laughs> Why should people be a fan of Poppy? What do you bring to their life that they don't already have? That's a great question. Let me think for a second. Hmm. Everyone should love Poppy for many reasons. The main reason is because I like to make beautiful videos. And they are very beautiful. And I like to put them on YouTube.com. Slash I am Poppy. Slash Poppy. Poppy, sorry. Do you make all the costumes that you wear in your videos? They give them to me. Someone's got to give them to you, right? You know, Poppy, I feel, is like you are the pop star life, right? They. They put you in clothes. They put you out there. They send you here to do the radio show. Do they make you create music? They tell me to make songs. Do they tell you? But I like to make songs. 
do they tell you what should be in those songs? Sometimes. They have numbers that they want me to put in the songs. They have numbers? Yes. Like like one, two, three, four, those type of numbers? They have special numbers and special sounds. Do you Do you like those sounds or are they forcing these sounds upon you? I think everyone likes the sounds. They like the numbers as well. Wow. Okay, so if I watch your videos, your music videos or just your YouTube videos, and I really scoured and looked real hard, I'd find numbers everywhere. Probably. Do you know what that message is? It makes me feel good inside. Sharing a message from they to the people who are your fans. It makes me feel happy. Okay. Poppy's heading around the country, everybody. Poppy's going on tour. Yeah. Poppy is. <laughs> cool. Um, is there a city you're excited to see? All of them. Of course, of course. All of them. Have you already been to them? Is this your first time? Mm, I've never left L.A. Really? Were you born here? I actually went to Japan once. Be uh, like how long ago? Hmm... A couple of months ago. Do you have a mother? Mm, I do not have parents. None. How are you? I have a creator. Oh, that's what I was about to ask. Who created you? So I'm saying, I think she's the pop star that is just created. She's like the test tube pop star. That is Poppy. I don't remember. Mm. I feel like you're really into, you know, Japanese culture. I love Japan. It is a really cool place. I've never been, but I... I made my album in Japan. Oh, Did you really? Cool. Okay, tell me about it. When you go into the, the the studio, they are telling you to make music, but it's your job to fill with your own lyrics, right? I write the songs. Got it. So what inspired Interweb? The internet. Obviously. And it's about, you know, people getting trapped, right? Get, getting so sucked into the internet and... I like pretending I'm a spider. Okay. And Don't what, we all? What do you do as a spider? Trap people in my interweb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you've trapped me. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. The album. Um, <laughs> fill me in. When you're making this album, are you working with other producers? Is it all you doing it? Me and Titanic Sinclair. Okay. And uh, how'd you meet Titanic? Ti did I say that correctly? Yeah, like the, like the ship. Yes. How'd you meet him? On the internet. Oh. Did he find you or did you find him? We found each other. Did you, you trap him in, in your web? Mm-hmm. All right, nice. Is he dancing in the background of the interweb video? I feel like he's one of those men in the black suits. Mm, do you want him to be one of those men? I, I, don't, I don't personally care. I just, I feel like he is. If you use your imagination, he could be one of those men. <laughs> Can I be one of those men if I if I use my imagination? Of course. I'm, I'm in there. I'm there. Using your imagination is fun. Agreed. Yeah. Let's make a video. That is another one of your songs. And it's pretty much about... What kind of video do you want to make? I, <laughs> we're technically making one right now, but I would love... Gotcha. You want to make more? I, I'm starving for <laughs> I Instagram like to make content. Videos. I think you and my engineer, Craig, could make really funny videos together. I like to make videos with friends. That's nice. Why? That's Other than your, your mannequin friend, what's her name? Charlotte. Charlotte. It doesn't seem like you often collaborate with other people on the internet. Mm, they don't want me to. Oh. Why? Do, do they ask? They tell me not to make videos with other people. Oh, they, oh mm. we're back to those days. Come on. I we, see. The good old days. <laughs> How often, how often are you making videos, Poppy? Look at it. Yeah, it's a cat. I like to make videos every day. Well, do you ever feel like these strange videos are taking away from your music because people are just focused on the videos and don't even know you're a singer? Mm, no. Okay. I like to make many things. Mm -hmm. Poppy is a creator. What else is Poppy? A singer. A dancer. Nice. 
How you, you, a human being? Got it. Triple threat. Is the album out right now, or is it coming out? Poppy Dot Computer comes out on October sixth, two thousand and seventeen. That's right. I do like the song Computer Boy. Thank you. Is that about finding love on the internet or falling in love with someone on the internet, kind of like catfishing? Yes. Is Titanic your love? No. You don't love him? He's in love with someone else. Oh. Does that hurt Poppy? No. What does it make you feel? I'm happy for him. Has Poppy ever been in love? I think so. You Whoa. think? With Computer Boy. Oh. Who is Computer Boy? He's the man from the future. Can you explain this lyric from the song, I want your floppy disk to be my hard drive? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I wrote that. Yeah, what, what well, from, why? What's it, what, what's, what, mean, what does it mean? It came from the heart. <laughs> Agreed. It sounds like it did. I'm going to use that line. Now, you need memory to remember things. That's correct. And a floppy disk might be... A floppy disk is memory. Yes, and not so the best memory. Well, unless it's a good floppy disk. Yeah, but... But a hard drive is permanent. Yeah. Wow. So it's not even dirty. A floppy disk is temporary. It sounds dirty to me. Yeah. And a hard drive is permanent. It doesn't go away. It's a, it's a big piece of data. It's a brick. People like that lyric. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. Did you did you know when you wrote that, you're like, this is going to be a memorable lyric? No. No. Oh, cool. How do you write? How, when do you sit down? When do you create? I type on a computer. Are you, like, if we looked at your phone right now, would we see some song lyrics in there or? My phone is a computer. So but it's not a computer I write music on. Got it. I feel like you, well, if Lil Wayne always says he doesn't write lyrics down. He just knows them all in his head. I feel like you would be the same way. Lil Wayne is lying. Oh. oh. All right. All right. Interesting. I never knew that. Well, I've seen him write before. Really? Really? Is this a hint at a collaboration that's coming? Maybe. I think a different type of collaboration. I have a feeling that, like, Poppy might be a part of, like, a bigger conspiracy that, like... So how Do you want to were... talk about my present that I gave you? Yeah, we can. I... What'd, what'd she give you? I got a ring. What? And it's a Poppy pyramid. Nice. You're in the Pyra- Illuminati, aren't you? Pyramid. That's what I'm hinting to here. I didn't want to say Illuminati because that's, like, a... I'm saying it. That's the big word. Illuminati. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't? Do you know? I don't know. You don't know. So what's the triangle on the ring mean? What's that stand for? It's beautiful. It's three sides, like three musketeers. <laughs> it's a favorite number. What, is, what do each side represent? Do they have a different meaning? One plus one plus one equals, equals three. Yeah, that makes sense. Got it. But you know the, Ilum- the Illuminati is also a triangle with three sides. Three plus three equals six. Okay, and six plus six equals? Twelve. That was a question for Poppy, Zach. Sorry. <laughs> the answer is 12. I feel it like... Is, you're right. You're, you're right. <laughs> you know... I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't the whole thing of the Illuminati to not speak about the Illuminati? And she I feel hasn't like you, spoken about I it. I know, but that's why I think she may be a part of this because she's avoiding the question. So, I yeah. Like Jay-Z and Beyonce and these people always hint towards it, but they don't speak about it. Very similar so to Poppy. What was the shirt that Titanic gave you? <laughs> um... Titanic Sinclair was mean to me on Twitter. Is he mean to people on Twitter? Sometimes. Why is that? That's why he made the shirt. Are you okay with him being mean to your fans? Yes. When they deserve it? Mm, He's never mean to people unless they deserve it. Understood. What is? I would ask you for an example of like when he's mean to somebody. Do you have that in your data? Sometimes they say mean things. Oh, about, so he's about, mean to people that are mean to you. Mean to him. Mean to him. Mm. Got it. Why would they be mean to him? What has he done? They think that he's the enemy. Got it. Why? I don't understand. Do they feel like he is holding you hostage and making you say things and do things and you want you don't want to be you? 
they think he copied my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you do have similar hair. <laughs> it's the same color. It is. Yeah. What would you? you where would you have the same color? I like it. Where would you Thank be you. without him? Titanic, that is. Mm, that's a good question. I would probably be in Hollywood, alone, wondering what I would be doing. What would you be doing if you weren't doing this? Dancing. Still creating and being active. Creating movement. That's right. Nice. But you are creating a movement. Ooh, I think. I think. A movement. I love my fans. Are you still signed to Mad Decent? They're helping me make this album. What's yes. your relationship with Diplo? He's very nice to me. Are you working with him on the album? He helped me make my album. Oh, okay. Cool. What, what was it like? I like Diplo. He's a very nice guy. We like Diplo, too. He's very nice. Does he understand Poppy? Yes. Did you have to tell him any Poppy secrets before actually working with him? He trusts me. It's a big deal to get Diplo's trust. Does Poppy feel pressure? It was really easy for me. Why is that? Because he understands. Does Poppy feel pressure working with somebody as big as Diplo? Uh, I've never felt pressure. Ever? No. What feeling out of all the feelings do you think you feel the most? Happiness. You don't, let's say you don't really show it, though. She smiles. She's, she smirks here and, here and there. I'm happy. She says Feeling she's and happy. showing are two different things. Ooh, sick burn. Whoa, wow. I'm going to put that on my Twitter profile. Whoa. I like that. Dan needed that, actually. <laughs> you just served him a bigger life lesson. Wow. I like Dan. I like Poppy. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Poppy. What does Poppy eat? Do you eat normal food? Sometimes. Do you like poppy seed bagels? Oh. Mm, sometimes. <laughs> nice. Has Poppy lost her virginity? What does that mean? That is when you... It's when you have you wrote inter a, intercourse for the first time. Yeah, you wrote a lyric about it. What lyric? The one about putting a, a hard drive in a floppy disk. We already went over that. That's memories, dude. It's not That's sex. That's about data. Data. Yeah. Uh, Get your mind out of the gutter, Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> What's his full name? What's your full name? Poppy. Do you have a last name? Poppy. Have Pop, you, poppy, Poppy. Have you never, you, so you, didn't, you don't know what sex was. Did I just tell you what sex was for the first time? In Poppy's existence? Yes. I should Can give you. Can you describe? I mean, the more detailed version of Birds and the Bees is, you know, a guy and a guy, a girl and a girl, a girl and a guy, anybody, they feel a connection and then they decide okay. to okay. be intimate together in many different ways. It's not necessarily... Mm, why? Why? It's when you feel so strongly for somebody that uh, you want to show it your, your feelings in more than just words, but you want to kiss the person and cuddle with the person. And Does know. everyone do this? Uh, not me. I haven't done it yet. Why? Well... It's just life, you know? It's just the way my life has worked out so far. He hasn't found the right person. Yeah, and I kind of surpassed They have apps for that. <laughs> He's on all of them. Don't worry. It still hasn't happened. Poppy, I'm working on it. <laughs> you know? I'm figuring it out, but... Um, Good luck. At this point, I just wanted to be the right person. When, when I understand. When you lose, you know, yours, I'll let you know when it happens for me, and you can let me know when it happens for you. Do you kiss and tell? Um... Mm, not usually. He doesn't kiss, so there's yeah. nothing to tell. <laughs> Would you kiss and tell? What do you mean? What, what kind of, was that question to me? Well, no, she asked you the question, so I asked the question back to her. Wow, what, what, Dan's a lot's interview techniques. What do you mean? What do if you mean? If you were to find someone you're into and you had the sex, as they call it, would you tell? I would have to think about that. Got it. I think you're very fascinating, and I think this is hilarious and great, and I love everything about it. But what's interesting is the music is, is very good, and I wasn't expecting it's, that when I first heard it. It's really... It's very, very good. It's real incredible. It's like real music. art. Oh, wait, I, you, <laughs> you know, one day, maybe Poppy 
without Poppy will come by and hang out. We'll be able to talk like, I mean, I, you, you are an incredible musician and you're making music mm-hmm. just like Dan said, that is, so I, I don't know. It's really good. And yeah. the messages behind them and the themes of the song are something that I haven't really heard before. And it's very representative of our culture and our now and our peers. So, well, when you watch the video, I just like, got a synthesizer. Oh, nice. Ooh. How, how do you enjoy using that? Is that, that must be fun. It's a lot of fun. How many instruments do you play? Mm, all of them. Wow. Nice. Me too. Are a lot of people surprised with your music when they finally listen to it? Yes. And does that make you happy? It makes me very happy. So you're happy that I listen to it and I like it? I like you, Dan. I think we have a future. <laughs> Is this like a thing? Are you hitting on Poppy? I think... Poppy might be hitting on me. I don't know if she is. I don't like to hit people. <laughs> no, that's good. You shouldn't. Your Los Angeles date is almost sold out. It is yeah. almost sold out. Very exciting. A lot of the other dates on the tour are being sold out too. Like they're they're selling out quickly. You got to buy your tickets. What is your stage show going to be like? Dancing. It's very bright. We have special guests. Like who? It's a top secret. Oh. You have to wait and see. This is exciting. Are we invited? Of course. Okay, thanks. <laughs> we have a VR experience. Ooh. Virtual, really? Virtual reality, like with the goggles and stuff. We get to be together with the technology. Sweet. I like uh, spending time with the tech. I, it's I, fun. I feel like the answer to this question is going to be no, but do you ever creep yourself out? Yes. I'm <laughs> yes. Got him. <laughs> Sometimes before I go to bed at night, I think about things. Oh, like what things? Infinity. Oh. Hey, you know what I always thought about? around on a planet. Well, I was like, people are like, what's after space and where does space end? And it confuses me because it can't end. But if there's a wall, like where, what, what's after that and what's after that and where does it go? Time. Yeah, but how... It's infinite. There is no ending. Yeah. That's you the have point. to think in multiple dimensions. See? Okay. I'll. Okay. The fourth dimension is time. Does Poppy have feelings on our world today? It's a very volatile situation. Some may say we're on the I brink love of. It. You are. You do. It's beautiful. There's a lot of tension, nuclear tension going on. It's scary. Time it's and. It's inf- like a TV show. Hmm? One that we can't turn the channel on I like this channel you do it's fun this time a little bit of chaos a little bit of destruction it's mm, everything's gonna be okay you heard it here first Poppy says we'll all be okay she's very optimistic I like it any other questions no I I love I love everything about you I just wanna know how old you are I don't identify that's what I thought okay cool so you're not a you you feel like a female, but there's no gender, but you don't identify with an age. You don't have parents. I don't know what age is. Do you listen to music besides your own? Ooh. Yes. What kind of music? Who? I like famous people. <laughs> Who's your fam- favorite famous person? Mm, I've met a lot of famous people. Like who? I met Ariana Grande. Cool. Nice. She's very nice. She showed me tacos to eat. <laughs> she taught you what a taco was? Yeah. You like, do you like tacos? Yes. They're good, right? Mm. Yeah, I agree. Ariana Grande likes tacos. Yeah. You heard it here first. Who, who else have you met? Mm, I've met so many famous people. Cool. Wow. Does anybody teach you things as as memorable as tacos? That's a good question. I learned how to make music from famous people. Who taught you? If you could say there was like... That's a secret. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Has anyone taught you pizza? Pizza's really good. What do you mean? Pizza. The food pizza. Has anyone ever taught you pizza? Mm, Not yet. Oh, well, I'll show you. (laughs) You're welcome in advance. Pizza's great. Um, <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Poppy, so. how do you define fame? Last question. Fame is the best thing to happen to a human being. Okay. Everybody wants to be famous. Really? Why is it the best? Everybody gets to be famous. Is that really true? I don't think so. The internet makes being famous very easy. Well, it makes it easy, but there's still competition, so you still got to cut through, and you still got to have a talent, right? A gift. Something that... I think the greatest gift is fame. Okay. What do you think about the saying, stop making stupid people famous? Who said that? It's just a saying that people throw around. <laughs> Dan's personal mantra. Mm, sometimes people can be stupid. Mm. Even really smart people. Yes. It feels like a blanket statement. Mm -hmm. People true. are more dimensional than that. Mm. Wow. What is the biggest lesson you've learned since first releasing music and coming out as Poppy? I love my fans. Poppy, everybody. Come on. <laughs> Poppy. Com Poppy.computer is the name of the album, right? Yes. It's coming Poppy out. Poppy.computer. It's coming and out. The website Poppy.computer leads you to a place to buy tickets for the Poppy.computer tour. And you got to go see her. She hits the road this fall, and the album's coming out October and 6th. October 6th. And the single right now is Interweb. It's a great song. Thank you. Stream it, listen to it, buy it. It's a great record, and we buy it a couple of times. We thank you, Poppy. I love how she looks directly into camera thank when you. she says she loves her fans. I'm getting a very like a uh, strawberry shortcake doll vibe. Oh yeah, right. Okay, With the hat and stuff. I love it. Thank you, Poppy, for doing thank this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.